was some afternoon. Yeah, uh, eventful. Um, credits to our lads, as you know, we can come here and give the top of the league a really good scare, a bit good game, and uh, we probably should have won it. They came at you like a house on fire, but I bet you expected that. Well, you, you can't play open, expansive if coming here because you get spanked. You know, like lots of teams have. You know, Donny come here a few weeks ago and got turned over the style. So we knew we couldn't play wide open. So we had a bit of a plan. You know, similar to Bradford, but you know, these are the, the best team in the league by a distance. And uh, you know, you'd have to say it was working. And um, then obviously the sending off. You know, but I'm saying we should have had a penalty. And um, and then we had another chance when we went, you know, we went through, and we should have been more clinical, like we were at Bradford. Uh, and if Armand puts that one away, you know, we go on and win the game. But they're the best team in the league, so well, it's still one goal in it. And um, you know, they're knocking on the door and they're throwing the kitchen sink at you, and they're shooting and we're blocking. And um, and then in the end, you know, it's a little scabby one that's gone through the, the legs of someone, and um, and it, you know, it's it's a really disappointing dressing room. We come to Luton and got a two-two and. And, uh, and we're gutted. You refer to the penalty incident, you've seen it back, presumably it's the Mark Baller one? It was 100% a penalty, I didn't need to see it back. Why would he go down if uh, he's, he's beat about four of them anyway, so why would he go down? So, you know, he's, he's not that type of lad, he's an honest lad, so, um, you know, I thought the referee struggled today, not just for us, uh, for them, but I thought first half in particular, you know, he didn't give us the free kicks that we, and then from, from the from the resulting attacks, you know, they had three corners on one of them and a couple of attempts on another one. I'm thinking, just give us it, just give us it. If it's a foul for us, give us a foul. Give a, a foul here for Oli Tate and, you know, against us. Just won the ball, clearly. And um, so that's disappointing. I'm going to go in and see him. Um, but um, your credit to the lads, you know, I thought we, we had a right good go. Um, and we got a 2 2 at Luton and we're disappointed. Two of the young boys you brought to the football club combined well for the first goal. Matty Virtue didn't give up what looked like a lost cause, but what a strike from Young Naya. Well, they had a great start. They had a great start, and it took us a bit of time to settle down. So, you know, obviously they scored the goal early, and then uh, really when we did settle down, probably the first proper move where Bowler showed some class and ran with the ball and come inside and put a little ball in. And Matty does that, he runs in behind. You know, he stands up a lovely ball, but Naya's got a hell of a lot to do. And, well, he finishes it with a plum because that's what he's been doing in training. That's why he got the shirt today. It's no shock because um, you know the lad's been scoring goals in training on a regular basis, and uh, I'm really pleased for him because he's a cracking lad. It's his first league goal. Um, you know the, the boys love him. Got the respect of the lads. He's got some talent, and uh, he produced it today. And you like midfield players who've got an eye for goal. That's three for Matty Virtue already. Yeah, and as I say, he, he got an assist there again, and he running ahead of the ball but he gets in he ends up in between the sticks so we knew we knew he's, he's got that in his locker and uh, another good performance by him another goal